Welcome to Nissan Arena in Brisbane. So season on the line for the Magpies as the Firebirds chase three straight wins. And they'll be keen to make this first centre pass count. And just get some confidence early on here. The Magpies as Carbon finds Nelson. And gets us underway. Well, Nelson, she was shooting at 94% last week. Definitely the spearhead for this Collingwood side. Can she keep that accuracy up for this game? And they've been strong in attack this season. The Magpies is Danelle Wallen. Fresh off diamond selection. She levels it up. Well, there's pressure on Wallum, isn't there? She's obviously been announced in that Australian squad. She's been impressive in the past five rounds. What does that do to her performance? It's a little through the hands there from Nelson. And now Kelsey Brown linking with Garvin. So the big out, of course, for the Magpies, Jackie Newton with injury. And Jackie Newton's been good, Ben, for the Magpies. We obviously know that Jeeva Mentor holds down that goalkeeper role, but Newton really relishing every opportunity she gets. And there's been quite a few knowing that Mentor's been out with COVID, ankle niggles. So confidence boosting start there for Garvin, back from a couple of matches out with COVID. So she missed the midweek round as well. As Buetta. Golden combination in the attacking third. Combining again well, Buetta and Wallum. Almost an issue for the Magpies. Garvin quickly onto Brown. Yeah, really smart play there from Kelsey Brown. Beautiful depth. She has that great connection with Nelson. She will just turn and give. And that's the job for Gabby Simpson today, is to keep Kelsey Brown away from that circle edge. Buetta looking for a valiant. Dunkley getting involved, of course, in the top five in goal assists this season. Laura Dunkley. That's Laura Dunkley looking for Buetta. And now Revalian. Oh, great little play there. Kira Tromp mentioned in a free commentary that Lara Dunkley just has this confidence about her in that wing attack position. And that's obviously coming through that repetitive match play every week. But she is really owning that wing attack role. Usoro Brown getting an arm in. <laughs> Looking a little confused and dazed at the umpire. When in doubt as a defender. And Sophie Garbin there just cleaning up the crumbs. That's two loose hands from Nelson in this opening quarter already. She needs to be able to pull those balls in strong, particularly when she's got somebody like Azuro Brown, who is so physical. She will bash her arms away all day. So we're back level at four apiece. Both attacks firing thus far. And as we said, you probably expect it from the Firebirds and Magpies. It's been the defense end where they've been the second worst in the competition, Collingwood. Nelson, that's around the rim. So she's had a nervy start, the Jamaican goal shooter for the Magpies. Not so Sophie Garbin, three from three for her. Nelson, two from two, but as you said, a couple of bad hands early on, Laura, and just wonder how that impacts her. Yeah, well, that's exactly right, Ben. She needs to be able to pull those balls in strongly, and it also comes from the service out the front. We see there, Firebirds, just sinking another one. The service out the front from those mid-quarters, they need to be able to see where the defender is positioned and put the ball in a good spot for, for Nelson to be able to pull it in. She's athletic, but you also have to just be a little kind to her, I suppose you could say. Not put her under the pump too much. Much better feed there from Brown. Well, that's easy, isn't it? Right next to the post. So it's goal for goal at the moment. Magpies starting well in this must-win clash for them. Now, that was an impressive centre pass. You could see that was a set play. Simpson coming through the back door. And that pace and gives Firebirds great depth. But a win from Jody Ann Ward. That is hard to do. Except and then Wallen wins it back. <laughs> wow, how about that from Danelle Wallen? Well, that is impressive work. Danelle Wallen, 
And amid all the drama in the last few seconds, let's go and check in with Kira Trumper's sideline. Yeah, look, it's amazing atmosphere down here with Wollum taking that intercept and finishing off the shot. A bit of feedback from Brown on the bench here. They just think she needs to take a bit off her feed. She's firing it in there to her shooters, which is causing a few bad hands. So maybe a few too many wheat picks this morning for Kelsey Brown. Absolutely, Kira. Something that we just mentioned, just to pull it back a little bit. Not put Nelson under so much pressure. Well, certainly showing her intent early on. She's keen to show her wares. Kelsey Brown, of course, has played for the Diamonds before 18 caps, but not in that initial 18-player squad for the Commonwealth Games. Jovic. It'll be interesting to see here the long court transition. Oh, how about that? Yes. <laughs> on cue, on cue, Laura. Nelson's going to finish it off. Beautiful work there. That made it look so easy, didn't they? Great work there from Jovic, just finding Nelson under the post. Glorious watch there on the Harvey Norman replay. Made it look easy, made commentating look easy as well for <laughs> Laura guys. What are you saying, Ben Homer? <laughs> it's our first outing together and you're already throwing chat. <laughs> so the Magpies, they are out by three. Hasn't that happened quickly? Simpson, Buetta, and now Dunkley around the corner. A penalty here for Lara Dunkley. Up and over the top for Wallum. She gets it back to two, the difference. Well, Danelle Wallum, as we have spoken so much about, she earned herself in an, Austra in an Australian squad earlier this week, a name we haven't heard of until this season, sitting at three from three at 100%. So everyone, oh, Sophie Garvin there, just a little too much on that one as she just turns around and looks to her mid-quarters. Saying, take the edge off a little bit. Buetta, and now Dunkley to Revalian. Saw the run of Buetta. And just lobs it up for Wallum. And the layup. Well, it doesn't come off that time for Danelle Wallum. And she won't get too many rebounds when she's coming up the up against the likes of Jeeva Mentor. She is so good at batting that ball away, as we just saw. So that will make Danelle Wallum think twice about laying up the shot again. Of course, Jeeva Mentor back in the Sunshine State, of course. She played for the Lightning, winning a couple of titles with them. And Collingwood for the last four seasons. And Garvin cannot make it drop. Back to Brown, so going on the recycle here. And that's exactly what they needed after it just seemed to go awry. Well, will we see that from particularly the Magpie players? Garvin, we know, was out with COVID last week. It's been affecting players differently in terms of fatigue, concentration levels, particularly in that shooting role. You're tired having to execute that shot when you are fatigued. Keep your eye on Garvin and how she goes with that. Making it look easy, Danelle Wallum. The Magpies still in front, 10-8. We're just over the halfway point of this first quarter. The Magpies, remember, needing to win this one. As Garvin feeds Nelson back out to Jovic. Great contact. Great front position there from Shimona Nelson on Ebony Azuro Brown. You can just see there, though. Oh. She got an arm in there, the English international. And now that is a pass oh. which is pulled in by Garvin. So. Both sides just making some unforced errors. And that's exactly what you want to see from your attacking players, is that hard defensive work, that turnover from Sophie Garbin. Amazing work from her. What would have been a big turnover, that, for the Firebirds? They could have got themselves back level. Instead, it's still three goals the difference for Valley with a big dummy, oh. hanging it up for Buetta. There was contact. That's a decision from the umpire from Mentor. Mentor absolutely devastated with that call. She could see the ball up in the air, had a little bit of hang time. And that would have been a big, big win for the Magpies as we see an uncharacteristic miss from Gretel Buetta under the post. So a couple of issues there for Buetta. And now it's Mentor on to Ward. Sees the run of Brazil. It's going to bounce into the arms of Simpson, who bumps it into Dunkley. It will be Simpson's ball. Let's go to Kira Tromp. Yeah, just noticing Gretel Buetta taking the last few centre passes. The Magpies have really turned the heat on Lara Dunkley, doubling up. Nicole Richardson's just said to Brazel, come off and have a go. So you'll look to her to take an intercept. 
No, we're not in super shot territory. What is going on there for the Firebirds? Uh, an attempt from distance from Wallum. So maybe they are a little frazzled at the moment by the Magpies. Well, who that... have now potentially a chance to go four ahead and do. So we're almost into power time. And Nelson is pumped, and there is a timeout called by Megan Anderson. A HCF tactical timeout. We're going to have a listen in. We'll hear what Nicole Richardson has to say to her team. Okay, just a couple of things. Off their set of pass, I think Gabby's got depth on us three times. Try and deny that, yeah? So you know what you need to do? Get over early. Yeah, hasn't been called yet, yeah? Defensively, we're winning ball off the shot. Uh, can we reckon get out? So, yeah, so one of you stay, one goes. At the moment, we're both staying, and then we've got nothing, right? So probably more likely you get out. You stay, you've got to work harder in attack. Yeah, come on. Take wide, and then cut through the middle or catch on the body. We're coming in. We're coming into the two-point shot, right? So defensively, they've both got range shots. Hold high, none of this jumping or anything like that. Hold high. I would go, don't put two on the shot. One and one, because it's just going to pass off. Let's go. Great shot. Have the confidence to keep letting it go and attack into the fence. Let's go. Three, two, one. So there's the message from Nicole Richardson. Kira, what was said by Megan Anderson with the Firebirds? There was no panic in the Firebirds camp, just back to basics. Make sure that Janelle Wallum isn't getting pushed too high in the circle uh, to get herself in good position. Lara Dunkley said, come on, girls, let's just lift. So let's see if they can turn this one over. Well, as a defender, that huddle of Nicole Richardson, I just want to go back there for a second. That's every defender's dream, to hear those pearls of wisdom. I loved what she said. Paid attention to Kelsey Brown on Gabby Simpson and being careful of that backdoor entry. You can just hear there in the background the Hooter sensing the fact that the power five is happening. She's saying, let's hold over the shot. None of this faking and jumping business. And what she wants from that attack transition, she's obviously noticed that there's, there's been a few missed shots from the Firebird. She's saying, let's make sure we've got a short option and a long option out rather than both attackers just staying put. So some great feedback there from Nicole Richardson, particularly towards her defenders. A fascinating oh! insight. What a pass from Brazel. An absolute bullet to Nelson, who is absolutely pumped with that from the recently named Diamond, Ash Brazel. Well, that was threading the needle, Ben, wasn't it? And why wouldn't Shimona Nelson be up and about after that beautiful feed from Brazel? Of course, deciding not to play in the AFLW this season and focus on diamond selection. He's been wonderful in a side who is struggling, but they are ahead here. Just the one for the Firebirds there from Wallum. So yet to see a Suncorp super shot. Good arm in there from Simpson, but it's out off the Firebirds wing defence. So it'll be a Collingwood ball. Garvin, now Brown. What the Collingwood Magpies have done so well in this opening quarter is they've recognised, we just see there another miss from Garvin, but she collects the rebound. They've identified that the Firebirds are quick out of the blocks. They know that if they've got a chance today, they have had to have a strong start, and that's exactly what they're doing, and putting the pressure on Firebirds and taking that luxury of Firebirds having that strong start away from them. The crowd is quiet as you can hear, so all of a sudden, the Magpies or the Firebirds are a little bit stunned as to what to do. Yeah, the fans in purple here are a little bit more quiet with this scoreline. Brown oh. now finds Ward just over <laughs> Buetta. Now Garvin gets involved. Nelson got a little bump in the back from Azoro Brown. Just the skyscraper brought down by Nelson, who hits the rim. It's going to be a Firebirds ball. How big could that be? They've got the next centre pass. If they can make this count, they could really pull in this deficit. The home team, Revalian, and now Wallum. So it's back to three, and they have the centre pass, the Firebirds. And a pass goes astray. Was Dunkley given a little nudge? 
Well, the umpire suggests so. Brazil will stand out of play. And Gabby Simpson, keen to get the show on the road. She knows they're working against the clock here. So they go for the two. Dunkley to Wallum for the first Suncorp super shot of the afternoon. And it drops for the new diamond, Janelle Wallum. Here's Jovic to Brown. And now Garvin up to Nelson. Gee, she can bring those in beautifully. The long arms just settles things down for Collingwood. Well, what an impressive first quarter this has been from both sides. Firebirds with this late surge home. So just the one here for Buetta. It drains Kira. Yeah, look, we've seen Ruby back while Doran have a bit of a slow start. Sophie Garvin is getting the ball quite easily. I'd love to see her mark up on that on Sophie on that first ball off the centre pass. Well, exactly right, Kira. We're so used to seeing Ruby Bakewell Doran win a ball, but today she's tested against Sophie Garvin. Sophie is a bit of a mixed bag in that goal attack position. She's so physically strong that she's traditionally not like some of the other goal attacks Ruby Bakewell Doran has come up against. So it will be interesting to see how Bakewell Doran adapts her game in the second quarter to match Sophie Garvin. As you heard Kira say, that first ball contest, so important. So the Magpies, have got this critical centre pass. It could be the last scoring opportunity of this first quarter. They do take their time. Garvin for two. It doesn't drop. Nelson got a hand to it. It spills for Isoro Brown. But there's a penalty called against the Firebirds. Well, let's talk about Shimona Nelson's rebound in that play. She has come to play today. That was absolutely outstanding. The former basketballer, Ken Caps for Jamaica. This is big here. Right before quarter time, it will not drop for Danelle Wallum. The Magpies have only got second, so it looks as though it will be a two-goal margin. Look at those rebounds. The Magpies absolutely dominating. Seven zip in that depart department. That's an issue where they have struggled this year, not today. Welcome back to Nissan Arena where we see the Magpies leading the Firebirds by two. Up and about down in the Magpies end, Nicole Richardson asked her players to have a fly. So let's see in the second quarter if we see a lot of turnover ball. Yeah, that's exactly what the Collingwood Magpies want. They have that great start. We had a little listen into the Queensland Firebirds huddle in defence. Claire Ferguson gave the direction to Azuro Brown and Bakewell Doran. She said, I want some more dynamic movement in that circle. Come off the body a little bit, give yourself some space. And she wants the footwork to move around the body and just instead of just poking from behind and in attack, Megan Anderson, Anderson spent a little bit of time with, with Danelle Wallum. We know that matchup against Mentor is proving to be a good one. Mentor, let's not forget, you've got experience versus youth or inexperience, so to speak, when it comes to All that right, combination. Wallum is just moving a little bit more than what Megan Anderson wants. She said, just stay strong until that ball is released and then make your move. So keep your eye on that little match up there too. Fascinating insight into the Origin Energy team huddles. We're back underway in the second quarter. The Magpies in a must-win match with a two-goal advantage. And it's Jovic looking for Nelson. She had two on her. And she was able to pluck the ball in, but then couldn't finish it off. Garvin can do so. She did all the hard work, Shimona Nelson. Outstanding on the Harvey Norman replay. From the 10-time Jamaican international. So rebellion to Buetta. Quickly to Wallum. Comfortable enough for Danelle Wallum. So the Magpies, knowing that they're probably going to need seven to eight wins to make it into the finals. They're only on one thus far. As that rolls around for Garvin and out. Well, the rebounding for the Queensland Firebirds. There's been quite a few opportunities, but the Firebirds defenders yet to come up with a win. Shimona Mel Nelson really imprinting her name on this game. Have a look at that. 
rebound stat. Seven in total. They were the worst coming into this one, the Magpies, in the competition with just 10 behind the Thunderbirds with 30. So that is their improvement today. They're getting ball and making it count here as Garvin on the chase. And now Jovic. And as I was touching on, you need seven or eight wins to make finals. They lose this one. They've got to win six or seven of their last eight. So that's why this one is so critical for Collingwood. And Nelson tried to bring it down. Was it out off Osorio Brown last? It was, so it's Garvin. Well, this is, this is where the Firebirds need to assess what they're doing on that rebounding position. They're out of play. They're yet to win a rebound. Obviously, the positioning that they've got is not working. Do they have a go at batting the ball out? and getting those defenders on the outside edge of the circle to pick up the crumbs. But what they're doing the at the moment isn't being all that effective. Win defense contact, hold. So contact from Brazil on Revalian. Oh. And the ball <laughs> bobbles around. It was like a pinball there. And it spills the way of Collingwood. And it's Brazil to Brown, quickly to Jovic. Well, I hate to say it, Ben. Oh, and hey. now it's Soro Brown with an intercept. For the Firebirds, and then Nelson responds for Collingwood. Garvin, Jovic. It's been a crazy few seconds. Can Shimona Nelson just calm it all down for Collingwood? No, not on the first attempt. She's dropping a few short today. That one drains. Well, let's have a look here on the Harvey Norman replay. Ebony Azuro Brown doing her fair share, winning that game for the Queensland Firebirds. Would love to see a little bit more of that from her. Oh, and another win for her. Just that good positioning. Good pressure, wasn't it? Let's go sideline with Kira. Yeah, something we're not used to seeing from the Firebirds. They're looking rattled in transition. They're making some decisions that they probably wouldn't like to be doing. This is their best passage of play down court. I think that's one area where they can just take the heat out of the game a little bit. Yeah, thanks, Kira. Four goal margin for the Firebirds, who of course have won back-to-back -back matches coming into this one. The Magpies, four losses from their first five, but they seem a different team today. Wallum brings it back to three, the difference. Well, the Magpies relish the opportunity of playing against the Queensland Firebirds. Jeeva Mentor always used to bring her A game when Romelda Aiken or Romelda George, as we now know her, was in the lineup. They always seem to match so well against the Firebirds. And it's looking like today they're relishing this opportunity. It's fascinating because the Magpies have won the last two. And they have dominated the Firebirds down the years. 7-2 on head-to-heads here in Brisbane. 3-2, but the Firebirds have got it back. Buetta, Revalian, returning it to Buetta. Hot potato to Wallum. And they're back to within just one. And timeout has been called by Nicole Richardson. We are going to listen in again to the Magpies head coach in her second season at the club, looking to make finals for the first time in a couple of seasons. Let's hear from Nicole. Come on, Come on how are you travelling? You're OK? Keep pushing through. You know you're going to get, I was going to say, you know you're going to get pushed. You know you're going to get pushed, yeah. right? You are stronger than her. Trust that. Trust in your training, you're stronger than her. So pretend you're on me and just brace yourself for that contact, yeah? Strong through your upper body, through your core. Remember that with two hands, process on your side. You're doing a good job. Just got to keep it going, okay? I think you let it go. Yeah, yeah, because I'll look up. stay on the right? Be ready, I'm going to pass. Let's go, girls. Momentum stop, but it's important we take it on now. Keep those feet running at the ball, let it go, a good scrap dripping it in, but let's make it count first go. Go, 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 go. Here on the Firebirds bench, there are some faces looking like that they need to make sure that they use each other in attack and not force those balls long when they want to go into the circle. So lots of talk, constructive criticism from Megan Anderson. Spent time with the captain, Kim Revalian, uh, just trying to calm her down, make some better decisions. Yeah, well, interesting to hear that, Kira, down in the Collingwood Magpies. 
Hardo, Nicole Richardson laid down the law to Shimona Nelson. She can sense yeah. that Ebony no Azuro-Brown is getting on top of Nelson. She looked to her and said, you are stronger than Azuro-Brown. Body up, keep strong through your core. But we do see a change down in the defensive end for the Magpies. Jodie Ann Ward to the bench. Zoe Davies on in that goal defence position. Yeah, so just her second appearance in the National League. Zoe Davies, the training partner. Coming in today with Jackie Newton out of the team due to injury. And a win here for the Collingwood Magpies. Great defensive work forcing that held ball. So they get Brown onto Garvin. Feeding Jovic. So this is the test here for Shimona Nelson. She got a pep talk as Laura touched on from Nicole Richardson. She rolls that through for a one goal margin. As you see, Molly Jovic leading the Nissan net points from Brown and then Dunkley and Buett are not far behind. And now Wallum getting us back on level terms. There's also a change from the Magpies down there attacking in. Sinclair out there, she gets a touch there initially and finds Brown. And the reason for that change, Ben, in that huddle, Nicole Richardson looked to Sophie Garvin. We know that she was out with COVID last week and said, how are you going? How are you feeling? And Garvin said, OK, so you would suggest that change has come. She's just got Garvin on the bench, letting her have a bit of a breather just to see how she adapts. Sinclair given the opportunity. We know she's a specialist two-point shooter as well, as we see a great ball heading in there to Wallum. And the other issue for Garvin, shooting at 64% from the one-pointers. So, Brazel with the throw-in. Well, Kelsey Brown just running her own show down here in the attack end. A lone soldier with absolutely no defenders on her in that passage of play. She finds Nelson so nicely under the post. So what a tussle this one is. Many expecting the Firebirds to get the victory easily today. They have had to work in the first two quarters. Absolutely, Ben. You come into this match going third position on the ladder, taking on eighth or last position. You would expect that the Firebirds would well and truly be up on the scoreboard, but... The Magpies, different ideas. Wallum through, and it's 25 apiece. Isn't it funny? Last spot on the ladder seems to give sides a lift. We saw what happened with the Lightning last week against the Vixens. And now the Magpies today. Well, as Jovic to Brown, and now Sinclair from range. And it doesn't drop. So well, maybe a lack of patience initially from the Magpies. They'll get another opportunity. Well, Ebony Zero Brown just had her toenail over the baseline there. She thought she had the rebound. Gabby Sinclair, though, slotting that one through. Revalian Buetta. Good hand in from Brazel. Flicks it back. That is a big play from Ash Brazel. Gee, she has been part of some massive moments in this first half. Third intercept for the Magpies. This way. Beside the goal hat. Well, an area of the Collingwood Magpies. Ga oh, Gabby Simpson. Kelsey Brown. Didn't know what came at her there. A flying Gabby Simpson. Collingwood Magpies. We spoke a little bit about the fact that Kelsey Brown is utilising that ball so nicely, but the defensive end not winning too much ball. That's changed today. They're sitting in three games at the moment. Thanks to Jeeva Mentor. If they can continue to work and win that ball, this attack end seems to be working quite nicely for the Collingwood Magpies. Sinclair up towards Nelson. Contact from Osoro Brown. And Nelson just growing in confidence as this match goes on. Had the yips a little bit for the shooting in the first quarter, but seems to be just getting herself into rhythm now, Brazel again with a touch, and they've got it back again, the Magpies. Well, what an amazing intercept or defensive piece of work there, and have a look at this quick transition from the Magpies. Firebirds absolutely nowhere to be seen. Well done, Ashley Brazel. 
suggests that she comes from an AFL background or something, maybe, Ben. Yeah, she has been so athletic, so brilliant in this first half thus far. And again, it forces a Firebirds tactical timeout brought to you by HCF. Let's listen in to Megan Anderson. Little box thing. We're moving, we just go find a body. So if there's four, like one, two, three, four, find this body and there's your space. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We can't just stand in the middle because then they can attack it. We need to take someone out of the way, out of it like we do in the circles. You know how you get on a body? Yeah. Find the body and then come off it. Positive bench. Nicole Richardson giving her players at the Magpies some really direct feedback. She loves that they're working in front. They're pushing themselves on that defensive effort and they're letting the ball go. As you see one go straight into Shamira Nelson, that will make Nicole Richardson very happy. And so she should be, Kira. The Magpies really just finding form in this second quarter. Firebirds, though, was a different huddle. Megan Anderson talking a lot to her players, particularly in attack, about finding the body. Stop trying to beat players, particularly Dunkley. She's never going to beat Brazel in a running race. So she said, go and find the body and be smart about your positioning and working off that body. So into the power five now for the difference. The Firebirds more desperate for those Suncorp super shots in this period. It's the Magpies up to Nelson from Sinclair. Good feed, good finish. It's five now for the Magpies. So this is big here for the Firebirds. What's their intent? It's a Suncorp super shot from Wallam. It's back to three. Well, Danelle, Danelle Wallam showing no signs of nervousness when it comes to that super shot. She's sitting two from three. Nelson responds with one at the other end. So the Magpies happy to go up in ones at the moment. Buetta bounces up into her arms. Now Wallen again. Can she do it again? No, not quite. Buetta tried to thrust it back. What the mag contact, so they'll have a chance at one. What the Magpies are doing so well on this Firebird centre pass is they are double defending Lara Dunkley, making it so hard for her. They're just not getting that depth which is causing some real havoc for them. Five edge just... Oh, Ruby Bakewell, Doran, what? Oh, bad luck, just spills over the sideline. But for every little defender at home, we can see a replay of what Ruby Bakewell, Doran just did. She got her outside arm in, that quick footwork, absolutely sensational work from the youngster. Let's go to the sideline. Let's about... just say that brilliant piece of work by Bakewell. Doran, let's go sideline with Kira. Interesting what you say there, Gaitzi, about Lara Dunkley being double teamed. The Magpies are really trying to isolate Gretel Boweta to make sure that they get her on the sideline and keep her there. So I think that's part of their plan. For two, it doesn't drop for Danelle Wallum. And now the Magpies with a real chance here. But they decide to go up in just the one. It would seem so here for Nelson. And almost up and over, but it drops through. So it's five the difference with a chance to make it six or seven if they're good enough. Well, this is the frustrating part for Collingwood, for the players, no doubt, for Nicole Richardson, the coaches, and also the fans. You have to watch this netball that we play as we see Bakwadora and just steal that rebound in. And you have to ask the question, where is these performances during the season? They are showing they're so capable of mixing it with the best in the league, but it's just that inconsistency. 
So the Firebirds with two minutes now. They were spared there by the Magpies, but they've given it back. Ricochets off Wallum. And now Mentor quickly to Brown. I want to move it quickly, but the Firebirds were able to reset defensively. Well, you can see there the time in position, possession. Magpies 55%. Firebirds 45. Magpies have a lot more ball in hand in this first half, but... Nelson again, she's had some issues. She may get away with this one, though. As the scraps picked up by Brown, a heavy fall from Bakewell, Doran, and Nelson again. Well, she's got the yips, hasn't she, Ben? Last week we saw her shoot at 94%. She's sitting at 86% now, 25 from 29. She just does look to be lacking a little in confidence as we see here on the Harvey Norman replay. Dropping away. So centre pass for the Magpies. That's in the arms of Kelsey Brown, linking with Jovic. Contact from Simpson on Jovic. So final seconds of this second quarter. Well, Molly Jovic, she's just the link for this Magpies outfit. She does a power of work. She's topping the Nissan net points, currently sitting at 56. Sorry, Kelsey Brown's topping them at 61.5. But the work of those two in the midcourt, outstanding. Taking yep. the pressure off of Kelsey Brown. So 30 seconds now left in this second quarter. They would love a Suncorp Super Shot, but it's just going to be one here for Buetta. So they're playing the long game here, the Firebirds. Five the difference. Can the Magpies make it six again on the stroke of halftime? Nelson composes herself, drops it for a six goal advantage. The Firebirds will have to go quickly if they want to drop it back again to five. Buetta to Wallum off the rim and away. They won't get enough time to go again. It does drop through for Buetta. But it's six goals, the difference at halftime. The Magpies in a must-win match. Laura Geitz have turned up to play. Absolutely, they have, haven't they? The Magpies showing all signs of some amazing netball as we head down to Kira Tromp. I'm here with Molly Jovic. Molly, your connection down court has been on fire tonight. Can, how do you assess it the first half? Yeah, look, it's um, five minutes have come out really strong and... Their attack has been firing the last few weeks, so it's been tough, but I think we knew what we had to do, and and now it's just about the next two quarters and starting from zero again. How are you personally feeling after recovering from COVID? Yes, yeah, surprisingly, not too bad. I'll let you know after the game how I'm feeling then. All the best for the second half, Molly. See ya. See ya. The Magpies are on track for an upset in the Sunshine State, unless the Queensland Firebirds can do something about it in this second half. And to find out what they are going to do about this six-goal deficit, we are joined by Megan Anderson, the coach of the Queensland Firebirds. Megan, what has to change for the Firebirds in this second half? Oh, look, I think um, we're working hard, but we're not really working smart at the moment. So um, just ask us to take a breath and stick to our game plan and um, trust each other out there on court. Megs, what is the game plan? Um, we're wanting to um, turn quickly so that we can get the defence moving and um, use our change of direction and our space to get them moving and open ourselves up. I just want to ask you quickly, your third quarter traditionally hasn't been great. You talk about that consistency. Is that something that you addressed at half-time? No, look, I think we're more focused on getting our little things right in this game so far without even focusing on the third quarter just yet. We just need a big lift on the, out there right now. Thanks, Megan. Good luck in this second half. There is Megan Anderson, the Queensland Firebirds head coach. The Magpies chasing a big upset here and they get us underway. They've got the first centre pass of this second half. And they would love to increase this lead. Brown controlled it against the floor and now Jovic. This is good pressure early on from the outset from the Firebirds. But they've unlocked the defence and Nelson makes it a seven goal advantage. We just heard Megan Edison say the game plan is turning and delivering that ball quickly, not allow us. Oh, bad luck. You would have to, I reckon I had a pretty good seat there and I would have to say 
But Zoe Davies had good front position. That was all hers. The umpire, though, saw it differently. Defenders Union not happy about that one. <laughs> Zoe Davies finds Brown. Good impact off the bench. The training partner promoted to the 10 today, Zoe Davies. Good feed there from Sinclair. On to Nelson, so intriguing. Sinclair staying out there for the second half. Sophie Garvin maybe just given a little bit of a rest. Of course, we know she's coming back from COVID. Quick little double play there from Kim Ravelli and into the pocket. It's what we're used to seeing from her. We see Jodie Ann Ward sitting on the bench there. Warm-up shirt on, so suggest she won't be on the court anytime soon. So it looks as though Zoe Davis has got a massive opportunity here. Nelson going out of court. Couldn't drain it from that kind of position. It was awkward as she was off balance. We saw O'Brown, Revalian, and now Simpson. It's still a big margin that they're attempting to pull back here, the Firebirds. And this is the work from the Magpies that has been so impressive all game. The Firebirds just struggling to penetrate through. Comfortable there from Buetta. And they've got the centre pass to go with it. So it was out to seven. A chance to drop it now to just four. And Kira, you can really see the Firebirds have lifted in their second half. They absolutely have, Ben. Look, Megan Anderson said she wants her players to work smarter. And for me, they need to just get their talk going in the defence end. There was a situation there where Gabby could have picked off a ball but didn't know that the player was behind them. So Ruby Baker, Doran, Asuro Brown need to talk to their defenders out in front. And that's credit to the Magpies because they're playing such a short, sharp game that the defenders' heads are spinning a little bit. So they need, Kira's so right, they need that communication as a unit. They need to start working as a unit because right now they're very isolated and they're doing their own job and they're unsure of where each other is at. Valiant now to Simpson. Every possession crucial for the Firebirds when it's a five-goal deficit. Revalian and Wallen with the layup. Back to four for the Firebirds. Wallen at 86% today. Well, we spoke Jovic onto Brown. We spoke a little bit about that matchup, or Kim Rebellion, so to speak. Said she was a little quiet in that first half. She's sitting at 32 Nissan net points, 16 feeds, 10 goal assists. Her opponent, Molly Jovic, today sitting at 63.5 at 20 feeds and 7 goal assists. So, again, the game plan on Rebellion working quite nicely. Buetta. Is catching it over the head of Zoe Davies. So if you have just joined us, the big news is that it looks as though Jodie Ann Ward, well, we thought she was gone, but she's taken off the training top, Geitze, and she may be about to come back out. So it's going to be back out to five for the Magpies. That was interesting. It was interesting, wasn't it? She was sitting there on the sideline looking as though she really wasn't ready to come back out, but Zoe Davies, she's done a good job on Moetta. And maybe, again, this is part of the plan. This is the game plan. We spoke at halftime, Nicole Richardson has really broken down Boetta's game. So is it about running a goal defence on Boetta? Fresh legs, that rotation to give Gretel something different to think about. Those fresh legs. Also, it could be the fact that... Oh, Ruby Baker Doran! Contact from Nelson, so it's Firebirds possession. So Bakewell Doran now starting to get going down the defensive end. And speaking of defensive end, Ben, in back play there, I can see Kimberly Jenner warming up. I like this change from the Firebirds. Jenner back into goalkeeper, pairing with Bakewell Doran. A little bit more elevation. And Garbin back out there in goal attack for the Magpies. Ward feeding Brown, and then Brazel through the arms of Ward, who's just come back out onto court. And now Buetta to Wallen. So the momentum just starting to shift to the Firebirds here. 
That's more comfortable for Buetta. Let's go to Kira from Look, I, sideline. I can see a real change in the momentum with the Firebirds. That turnover there for Kim Revillian. Is that what gets her going? They're known for their pickups. Buetta, Dunkley, Revillian in transition. Let's see if they can make this one a goal. And that's better play from the Firebirds. Just that great depth. Arm in there from Mentor. Off the English international, the goalkeeper for the Magpies. Dunkley now to Buetta. Makes it a whole lot easier. It's back to two. It just clawed away at this deficit, the Firebirds. Well, the Firebirds leading this quarter, 9-5. Well, their third quarter has significantly, significantly improved today. Brown with a juggle over the top to Nelson. No signs of struggles there for Shimona Nelson. And Shimona Nelson, you can see there. So we just have a quick look at the match leaders there. Jovic still topping the charts, but the Weta climbing her way up the ladder, sitting on 60 points. Well, that'll help. Another for Gretel Buetta. Oh, oh look at that. And somehow brought down by Nelson. Jenna got an arm to it. Wow, let's have a look here on the Harvey Norman replay. Kimberly Jenner did the little fake. She could see that centre court heading into the pocket. She faked as if she was going out, which made Nelson look open under the post. Great little defensive play there from Jenner. Just wasn't able to pull it in strongly. Buetta, good feed there to Wallam. Who is going to blink? That's the question in this third quarter at Nissan Arena in Brisbane. Such a tight contest. Nelson again. Let's go back to Kira Tromp's sideline. Yeah, from sideline, Ben, I've really noticed the Firebirds have just got their timing right. They're taking the hits defensively and they're getting on their bike and making that second lead. The first half, they weren't responding to the defensive pressure of the Magpies and they were all leading too early. So they've really adjusted their game and attack and it's coming through on the scoreboard. And Megan Anderson spoke about playing a smarter game for the Firebirds. You can see them setting their screens, finding the body and utilising that smart game. Megan Anderson, Anderson will be very happy with how things are progressing in this third quarter. 12-8, they lead at the Firebirds. So they've clawed back four goals. Garbin, who's back out there in this third quarter, over the top for Brown. And now Nelson, that muscling Jenna, who gave away the contact penalty. Well, that Nelson falls through for her. Jenna, Bakewardora, and that defensive combination for the Firebirds is a little bit more dynamic. They're moving nicely around the body, confusing the space to where to put the ball. Three goal margin as we head towards power time. Revalian, now Buetta. That's now two again. It's just sitting at that margin. Nicole Richardson standing next to Zoe Davies on the sideline. They thought they had back possession, the Firebirds. Ward Brazel. And then Jovic, here is Brown to Garvin. Not quite in power time yet. Enough to get another on the board here through Nelson. And it doesn't drop initially. Does now. Well, we see another change. It's a bit of a revolving door down here for the Magpies in that goal defence position. Zoe Davies back on the court. Jody Ann Ward to the bench. Into power time now. Wallum, how about that? No, she was out of court. Danelle Wallum off balance. So it will be the Magpies with this first opportunity for a Suncorp super shot and fumbled over the sideline by Kelsey Brown. Well, you don't see that too often. Fumbling from Kelsey Brown. It's big... These pressure moments, isn't it? The final five minutes, a three-goal margin. Brown is down. <laughs> There's a little bit of uh, feeling in this matchup between Simpson and Brown there, going head-to-head. 
They know, well, they both know a win for the Firebirds sees them potentially move into second place on the ladder. Magpies playing to keep their season alive, and there we see Wallum's feet. The umpire got it right, just over the baseline. Brown, Jovic, Garvin. Centre contact, outside centre contact. Contact from Revalian. Hold tight. Three white. Well, Brown going to give Jovic a hand. Yeah, well, Kimberly Jenner, I've liked what I've seen from her as she's come on the court. She is a real ball hunter, and you can see that already. Kira Trump on the sideline mentioned earlier that the Firebirds defensive unit, there wasn't a lot of communication between them, but since Kimberly Jenner has come on, you can see that defensive end talking a little more. As a result, just, oh, Ashley Brazzo! She's come up big, hasn't she, today for the Collingwood Magpies. Ash Brazzle to Garvin. Nelson was waiting for the feed. It's not going to be super shot territory there. Nelson brings it in and converts. It's back to four. Uh, have a look at that work from Ashley Brazel. That is athleticism at its best. If the Collingwood Magpies aren't careful here, Kimberly Jenner is going to come out for an absolute screamer in the pocket. She's sniffing around. Well, oh. anyone's ball. It's the Firebirds. Gemma Maimai with a chance to play her 50th in the Suncorp Super Netball today. Will she get out on court? That will be the question. Jenna and then Simpson finding Dunkley in space. You know what I love most about this Firebirds defensive unit is there is competition against one another in the team itself. You've got Ebony Azura Brown, oh, as we just see there. Oh, Danelle Wallum! What a chase! But unfortunately for the Firebirds, credible winners. Well, the, you can hear the home fans at Nissan Arena do not like it. So for the margin, somehow they've just managed to hold the Firebirds despite the momentum from the team in purple. Jovic to Garvin, who hits the floor again. It's back now, so a chance here at a super shot. And Garvin is going to line it up and then just drop it over the top to Nelson. Let's go to Kira. We hear the crowd getting involved down here on the sideline. The Magpies are doing everything they can to make sure they keep that eighth player of the Firebirds out of this game. Well, they're back on cue. Buetta spinning away from Davies. Simple for Gretel Buetta. As we see on the Harvey Norman replay. Good balance on the floor. And Garvin, the pressure on from Bakewell Doran. Well, Kimberly Jenner has found herself on the bench in the last few rounds. We're used to seeing her last season on court for the Firebirds in that goal defense position. Schmoda Nelson. Garvin. She whiz the magpies with some uh, let offs here. Absolutely. We spoke a little bit about the low percentage today. There's so many rebounding opportunities. 60 seconds. So five the difference. They got it back to two in this third quarter, but it's back to five. Buetta on the chase, almost over the sideline. Good athleticism. That is contact, Dunkley, now Revalian. I would love a Suncorp super shot. It'll just be the one. They're happy with a four-point march in the Firebirds. It would seem not going to risk going for two. Garvin presenting, slips through the air, hands of Davies, and now Wallum. She thought about two, just the one. They have the centre pass, the Firebirds. They've got less than 20 seconds here, the home team. It's a three-goal margin. Do they go for the super shot? This would bring the house down. And it bounces out from Wallen. Now Garvin going quickly to Nelson. What a take. It doesn't drop. It's a three goal difference at three quarter time. What a match this is at Nissan Arena in Brisbane. The Magpies, they need to win. 
for their season. The Firebirds are chasing three straight. Welcome back to Nissan Arena, where we see the Collingwood Magpies up by three goals. Firebirds, though, taking out the third quarter, 17 to 14. We'll see the introduction of Gemma Mai Mai in the third quarter. Let's see what her pace is in this third quarter. Well, there you go, Gemma Mai Mai. We can see her there warming up. She is playing her 50th National League match today. So a big congratulations to Gemma Mai Mai on the milestone today. All right, 30 seconds to go. So, about to get underway after the Origin Energy team huddles. A big fourth quarter. So, Dunkley off Gemma Mai Mai. As Laura said, in her 50th National League match, she'll be hoping to celebrate with a huge fourth quarter. Molly Jovic was told by Nicole Richardson at quarter time to just go for it for 15 minutes here back from a COVID layoff, and she's getting us underway from the centre pass, linking with Garvin, now Davies. Jovic feeding Brown. And Jovic finds the option in Garvin. Has Nelson, Jenner and Bakewell Doran all over Shimona Nelson, so it's Garvin who gets us started in this fourth quarter, and it's four. The difference now, the Magpies in front. Uetta on to Wallum. Revalian along the floor. Well stopped by Wallum. Maybe not. Momentum shift potential here. Well, Nicole Richardson said to the Magpies in that huddle, she said, let's not make this difficult for ourselves. Come out firing in this last quarter. The confidence is up. We've spoken so much about the COVID-affected players. Garben, Mentor, Jovic. Well, you wouldn't suggest looking at them today, but it's played too much of a role, judging by their performance, would you, Ben? No, they have really lifted to another level. The Magpies, Garvin, oh. he's the run of Jovic. What a drive, Molly Jovic. And it's Garvin, doesn't drain. So it will be Magpies ball here from the baseline. Garvin on to Brown and then back to the post where Nelson was stationed. And as quickly as that, it's a six-goal margin. Simpson, Wallum, and now Revalian. Up high for Buetta, well taken. And that's not something we see too much of from the Firebirds. Wallum coming out of the circle to take that ball. So that just suggests that that second phase, they're struggling. But a win here from the Firebirds. Well, this is something that could change the match. And another unforced turnover. So they are just a little rattled. You can see 16 from the Firebirds in this one. Mentor. Pops it up to Brazel, but there's an obstruction call. And now it's Brown on to Garvin. Well, we see it time and time again, particularly in this last quarter. Oh, Ruby Bakewell Doran. A little bit of aerial ping pong between her and Sophie Garvin in that play. She's got the arm in there a few times, just cannot achieve the turnover, and the Magpies able to settle it. Have a look here on the Harvey Norman replay. That's what she's so good at, is just using her angles, her body, the line of her body to go with the attacking player and get a hand in there. She does it so well. Revaliant fires it low. And Buetta. She's converting down her end, and it's now five. 95% she's shooting at today. The Diamond Dreadle Buetta. Jovic floating to Brown. Nelson asking for it under the post. And again, she has the yips, and the Firebirds are able to profit. Well, it was a simple opportunity by her standard, Shimona Nelson. How does that swing the momentum? The Firebirds coming home with a wet sail after 
Being behind at half time by six. Uetta makes it for the difference, and the Firebirds with the centre pass. And the crowd really starting to get involved here at Nissan Arena. Jeeva Mentor, she saw that one coming, had her name written all over it. So Revalian just getting some composure. Uetta brought down powerfully by my mind, but then the pass goes astray. And it's those kind of moments which the Firebirds will want back. Jovic oh. can't pick it up. Smart play there from Molly Jovic. She knew had she would have regained that possession, it would have been a replay. So she did a little dance around it. And luckily for her, Collingwood teammate was there to pick it up. Garvin, now Brown, Nelson asking for the high one. And she receives the pass. Contact on Brown, back again. That is a carbon copy of what happened moments ago. Bakewell Doran to the floor. Well, it's just a Nelson sandwich at the moment, isn't it? She takes a deep breath after that one. Sophie Garbin, good from her, just running back and giving Nelson high five. Just, just Oh, Kimberly Jenner! And again, the Firebirds, they got the intercept and they give it straight back to the Magpies. Jovic hit a Garbin. And Nelson is up, brings it down. Let's go sideline with Kira Tromp. Yeah, look, you can feel the intensity on the court. The Magpies are the first to each loose ball. We saw there with Kelsey Brown picking up that loose ball down court. That's something that, that the Firebirds pride themselves on. And they just haven't brought it today, so they need to lift to that level. Thanks, Kira. Yeah, Laura, it's a real issue for the Firebirds. They're getting the turnovers, but they're not making them count. Yeah, that's exactly right, Ben. That introduction of Kimberly Jenner onto the court. She's got two deflections to her name. She's hovering around down here, playing the space. She's ball hungry. She's looking for the opportunity. And getting hands to it, but they're just not converting. Comfortable again for Nelson. Well, it was the Magpies issue coming into this one. A lot of deflections, not turning them into gains. Seems like it's the Firebirds problem this afternoon, but that will just get a little bit of noise going around Nissan Arena. They really need a turnover soon with five the difference. Otherwise, they're going to have to rely on the Power Five. Yeah, smart play there, Kelsey Brown. She drew the two defenders off the body, left Shimona Nelson at home alone under the post. Oh, great work, Ashley Brazel on Gemma Maima and that centre pass. Just applied that pressure. Nureta thought she had it back for the Firebirds. Contact on Davies. Nelson goes up. Well, they are streaking away now, Collingwood. Let's go to Kira. Guys, I'd love to ask you a question. At what point do you double back on Shimona Nelson and let Garvin go out there, only having 15 shots, nine goals in. When do you let your goal attack have the ball and double up on that shooter who's dominating? Great question, Kira. As you see there, Jovic just chasing the crumbs. I would have done it from the first quarter. Shimona Nelson, she's sitting on 49 from 59. She's done all the volume. Garvin, nine from 14. If you ask me, my defensive game plan would have been make Sophie Garvin shoot. We know that she's COVID affected. She will fatigue as the game goes on. So 100%, I would be adjusting and focusing all that attention on Shimona Nelson. So 50 now for Shimona Nelson today. 50 from 60. It's a HCF tactical timeout. Let's hear from Megan Anderson.
Nicole Richardson really happy with her Magpies outfit. She spent time speaking to Sophie Garb and she said, keep sweeping the front of the circle. It's opening up. Exactly what we talked about in commentary. The Firebirds need to adjust. Kelsey Brown, have patience and confidence to put it into Shimona Nelson. Thanks, Kira. Great inside again there. Obstruction. Call going against Mentor, and it's Wallop after the HDF tactical timeout. She falls that through for a seven goal difference now. It's now or never for the Firebirds. It's a four goal difference in this fourth quarter. After the Firebirds clawed it back by three in the third. It's not going to go the home side's way. Yeah, we'll have a look there at the score breakdown. Nicole Richardson's direction to her ladies was to come out of the blocks firing in this last quarter. You can see there, they're leading this quarter 10 to 6, so that they have done exactly that. Oh, Jovic. She's in everything today, isn't she? Yeah, she's been absolutely outstanding, Molly Jovic. 94 and a half Nissan net points. Good take from Wallum. Just off balance. Trying to get her team up here. They're chasing three straight wins, the Firebirds. It's going to be an uphill battle from here, but they do have power time. And the Suncorp super shots. Nelson, it spills away. Contact came from the Firebirds. Well, Shimona Nelson, 50 from 60. There has been so many rebounding opportunities. Well, that's a brain fade, is it, from the Magpies. And this is the opening. The Firebirds needed. The door has been left ajar by Collingwood. It's seven the difference. The Firebirds must make this count. Buetta back to my mind, up high to oh. Wallum. Mentor got an arm in. Wallum couldn't keep it in play. And it's Magpies. Who will have possession here? Well, Jeeva Mentor, that was incredible body positioning. Oh! And Brazil can't keep it in now. So, they get the chance now in power time. It might have worked out better for the Firebirds now. They've got double possession if they're good enough here. My, my. Wallen really needs to drain. It doesn't initially. Buetta on the rebound. Scrapping for the ball. Well, that's desperation at its best, isn't it? A missed shot from Wallam, Gretel Buetta, Zoe Davies. Leaving nothing on the line. So freeze this moment. Four and a half to go. Seven the difference. Wallam. Was fed. Buetta's going to go for two. It just won't drop for the Firebirds. <laughs> Well, the crowd didn't like that one. Thinking that the ball came off Zoe Davies' hand, the umpire calling him, calling with Magpies throw in. Well, they really need it back, don't they, the Firebirds? All the intensity coming. Oh. What's the decision from the umpire? Is it contact on Jovic? That is the call. Well, the Magpies, they need to play a smart game here. They can't get caught in the frenetic pace of the Queensland Firebirds. They're in two very different situations. The Firebirds are desperate. They need to win the ball and they need to do it quickly and they need to convert. The Magpies just need to keep the scoreboard ticking over. They can play a slow game. Let's go to Kira's sideline. Yeah, collective hearts in mouths down here in front of the Magpies bench. That's not what they needed. Their best player today with an injury. We've got a timeout called here by the Collingwood Magpies. For me, Jenna was on the right track, just her timing was a bit out on that one, guys. Thanks, Kira. So, HCF tactical timeout on the way. Let's hear from Nicole Richardson. So, we are patient in attack with all hands on deck. We do not get too wide. If it's open, it's open. We wait, we draw the two defenders off Shimmy, it opens the back post. In defence, we play so high up, 
that we let them. When Gretel, Zoe, when Gretel, when you've got Gretel high and she wants to come into the ring, let her go. Let her go to post. Completely different philosophy to what you're used to. You want her to go, come on, let her get to post and take the one point shot. All hands on deck. Let's do it again. Let's go. 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 Let's go
They were last coming into this one against the Firebirds, who are chasing three straight. But it's the Collingwood Magpies who have awoken in Queensland. A win which they will hope can turn their season around. The Firebirds, will they lose for the first time in a couple of matches back to the drawing board for Megan Anderson and her team. But it's three straight wins for the Magpies against the Firebirds. They love playing against the team from the Sunshine State.